Hey folks and welcome back. In my previous video, I had shown you how actually you can set up free gate using home assistant add-on as well as as a docker image. In this video, we'll be looking into how actually you can connect that free gate instance to home assistant and then get notification on our phone whenever free gate detects something on your camera. So we had configured last time that it can detect a particular person. So now whenever it detects a particular person on the camera, it will actually send you this notification on your home assistant app on your mobile phone. So with this, let's get started. Now in Home Assistant, what we're going to do is we're going to connect this Frigate server to Home Assistant such that we start getting notifications. But for this, what we need is we need is something called as an MQTT broker. So if you are running Frigate inside Home Assistant OS as an add-on, then this is the mechanism that you will have to do. You will have to go to settings, go to add-ons. In the add-on store, you're going to search for MQTT. So now this will actually start your MQTT broker inside Home Assistant OS itself. And this is the mechanism if you're running Freegate inside Home Assistant OS as an adult. Now the MQTT broker is installed now. I'm going to start this and I'm going to enable this option in case that if it crashes, it automatically starts up. Now in my settings, I'm going to go to devices and services and I'm going to add the MQTT broker configuration so i'm going to go here so it has already discovered the mqtt broker and this will automatically configure the mqtt inside home assistant okay so this is the mechanism to do the mqtt broker using home assistant os now if you are running freegate on a different machine you will need to run an mqtt broker for this so now i have this already present here so i have mqtt as a docker image let me show you this so in this docker image i'm specifying the mqtt broker here and i'm starting this and these are the two ports that i'm exposing i will require this particular port to actually connect to the mqtt broker and i will use this particular port here so with this i'm going to start this using docker compose up and this will actually run the mqtt broker for me now this is running on the same machine where my Freegate server is also running. Now what we are going to do is, let's go back a little bit to the configuration. So remember in the Freegate configuration, we had specified this MQTT broker. This is the same broker that Freegate is using and we will connect the same MQTT broker to Home Assistant. So now we have to go to settings here in Home Assistant, then devices and services. And here I'm going to say add integration and I'm going to search for MQTT. So with this, I'm going to specify now the broker IP address. So I'm going to specify my IP address on which the broker is running. And I'm going to keep the port as 1883. Now, when I started the MQTT broker, I didn't specify any kind of username and password. So I'm going to keep this as blank and I'm going to click on submit. So if this success message comes in, that means your broker is now connected to your home assistant. So this is done right now. Next, what we are going to do is we are going to actually now make free gate connected to home assistant. So for this, we will have to go to hacks. Now, if you have not installed hacks, there's a link here as well as I'll provide the link into the description below to actually install hacks. So in hacks, you will have to go to integration, click here and search for Frigate. So you will find Frigate here. You're going to select this and click on download. So this will now download Frigate integration for you in Home Assistant. Now, once you download this Frigate integration from hacks, you will have to restart Home Assistant for this thing to be available in the settings section. So now I have already restarted this. I have this particular configuration present. So I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go to devices and services. And here I'm going to search for Freegate. So here I have Freegate here. I'm going to select this. And now here I have to specify the IP address of the Freegate server. Now, if you're actually running Freegate as an add-on inside Home Assistant itself, you can keep this IP address or this default URL that is there. 
But since I'm running mine as on an external server, I'm going to actually specify the IP address of my server. So that's the IP address and the port 5000 that is there. So this is the same port with which we accessed FreeGate. So now I'm going to click on submit. And now actually this will actually try and communicate with the FreeGate server. So as you can see, it has found two things. It has found my camera. It has found FreeGate also here. So now when I click on finish and I go to the FreeGate section here and I go to this, you see this, there are two devices here. Click on this and you can see the cam01. Now here is where it is actually figured out that this is the particular cam here. So that's the live view from here. And now what we are going to do is since FreeGate is connected to Home Assistant, MQTT is also connected to Home Assistant. Now the final thing is that we want to send notifications. Whenever FreeGate detects something, it will start sending notifications to your mobile phone. So for this, what you will have to do is we will have to go to this particular URL. I will provide the link to this particular URL in the description below in my article. So here you will have to select this particular blueprint. So this is the blueprint through which you can create the automation actually. So this is the easiest mechanism. So let's click on this and we are going to open this particular link. So now with this, we are going to import this particular automation blueprint. So here it's saying that it only requires a frigate camera and the mobile app on which it needs to send the notification to. So I'm going to click on import blueprint. It already exists in my blueprint section. So it's here right now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an automation using this blueprint. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to click on create automation and I'm going to select this particular blueprint right now. So when I select this, so the two things that it needs is the camera. So here is a camera and I'm going to specify the device here. So this is my phone. This is a device on which I'm running the Home Assistant app and this is the camera from it has to detect this particular activity. Now along with this there are various other options that you can set but for now I will just specify that as an attachment send a snapshot. The snapshot that is captured here so if you go into the events and this the snapshot that it has captured so this is something that will be shown into your notification. With this I'm going to just click on save there are various other options below. If you want, you can configure them. But right now, I'll just keep this as simple as possible. Frigate notification and I'm going to click on save. So now your notification mechanism is active right now. So let's wait for some kind of detection to happen. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my phone and see if I get that particular notification. Maybe I'll have to move a little bit behind move back into the camera view and if I see here it has now detected this particular notification so it has found this particular snapshot and it is now showing me this particular snapshot on my mobile phone then you can say view snapshot and here you can see it is actually showing you the snapshot here so that's how actually you can get notified on your phone using this mechanism of the blueprint. So I hope you like this particular video. So make sure to hit that like button. And in my next video, I'll be showing you how actually you can connect an IP camera to FreeGate to actually do some detection. So make sure you subscribe to this particular channel and I will see you in my next one.